Friends, in this video, I will share my thinking process while doing capsulorexis in an intumescent cataract. After staining the anterior capsule, I filled up the anterior chamber with SPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. But I thought there is, and I almost was going to start capsulorexis with a forceps. Then I felt there is too much high intralenticular pressure and even just a prick on the posterior capsule on the anterior capsule can cause Argentine flag sign. So I replaced the ASPMC with a combination of chondroitin sulfate and sodium hyaluronate that is viscoat, probably hyalucoat in this case. And now as I prick the anterior chamber with a 26 case needle and raise a capsular tag, there is less tendency of the capsular tag to run out. The chondroitin sulfate keeps the capsule pressed and the you know, egress of fluid is prevented to some extent. So we can very comfortably do a mineraxis with this high molecular weight substance but we don't try to do the adequate sized rexis that is a size of about 5 millimeter at this stage. We still do a small rexis first and decompress the capsular bag. I used Simcoe for some time aspirated some cortical matter. Now I attempted this only the irrigation through the opening and as I irrigate the capsular bag and do tapping of the nucleus and try to rotate the nucleus all the cortex come out through this opening and by the irrigation pressure it comes out through the main wound and the capsular bag is very nicely decompressed. Once this happens, once the capsular bag is almost empty of cortex, I used the Simcoe again to remove the remaining cortex that was floating in the anterior chamber that didn't come out by irrigation pressure. Clean the anterior chamber again. At this time, we can inject SPMC, but still, yes, this is SPMC. At this time, if we make a cut at the rexis margin, there will be no tendency of the capsule to run out. I make a small nick, use the uterator, I go all around to do an adequate size rexis. Size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter and see there is no tendency of the capsule to run out. Thus, uh, safely we can do capsular excess in an advisant cataract. Thank you very much for your attention.